Hello, this is Trey Cade. I am the director of the Baylor Institute for Air Science, and uh, I am here to introduce you to the Aviation Sciences uh, degree program at Baylor University. Uh, our degree is the Bachelor of Science in Aviation Sciences, and we have two uh, possible majors within that degree. Uh, the Aviation Sciences major that has two concentrations, uh, professional pilot and aircraft dispatch, and then we have the Aviation Administration major, uh, which is offered uh, in cooperation with uh, Baylor's School of Business. Within the um, professional pilot concentration of the Aviation Sciences major, uh, you'll see the uh, ground and flight training um, opportunities here offered as, as a part of that program. Uh, this Concentration is designed for students who want a career flying for the airlines. However, there are uh, numerous uh, flying jobs and careers that are available to graduates from the professional pilot concentration. Uh, the ground and flight instruction is conducted uh, through an FAA approved uh, Part 141 uh, cert certified programs. Uh, you can see the ground school courses there offered through Baylor and the flight training courses offered through our flight school. Uh, the flight training includes uh, obtaining your private pilot's license, your instrument rating, your commercial license, multi-engine rating, and certified flight instructor certification. So you have all of the licenses and ratings that you need um, to start flying for the airlines. Flight training is conducted at the Baylor University Flight Center at uh, the Waco Regional Airport. It is a fleet of all uh, Technum aircraft. Uh, you can see here the, the two-seater, the Technum P-2008, the four-seater uh, P-2010, and the twin-engine uh, P-2006T, which is used for multi-engine training. Um, these are pictures of the uh, actual aircraft out at the, uh, the Waco Airport. You can see uh, painted up in uh, Baylor colors and Baylor logos. The uh, second concentration that, the, that we offer is the aircraft dispatch concentration. Um, through completing that program, you meet all the requirements to take the FAA dispatch uh, written and oral exams. Uh, which leads to uh, a certification as an FAA aircraft dispatcher. We also offer the Aviation Administration major, as I said, uh, partnering with um, Baylor's School of Business. So this is an interdisciplinary major where you take um, aviation courses and business school courses. And this is intended for the student that is more interested in the the business management um, side of the, of the aviation industry. We do have a uh, active and vibrant student organization, the Baylor Aviation Organization. I'm very involved in activities um, that help with the uh, professional development of our, our students, uh, going to air shows and uh, visiting uh, airlines and, and airline training centers, uh, something they do uh, fairly frequently. Um, we have several pilot pipeline agreements with uh, regional airlines. Um, these agreements uh, make for a very, very smooth transition from uh, graduation to uh, your first, first airline job. Um, you certainly don't have to sign on with one of these programs. Um, the great thing about becoming a pilot right now is there is a huge pilot shortage. And so the, all of the airlines uh, are, in, are in definite need of pilots, um, but these um, pipeline pro programs make for a very easy um, pathway to a first pilot job. And with some of these, you, uh, you pass your interview, basic interview as early as your sophomore year, and then uh, you receive a conditional job offer that is waiting for you um, after graduation. So I want to touch on some of the aspects that make our Baylor Aviation program a little bit unique and how I think that we are kind of uniquely positioned in the world of collegiate aviation. As a, as a Christian university uh, with uh, big school opportunities, um, I think that makes us 
fairly unique. There are certainly other schools, other big schools, that offer um, aviation programs, uh, but they're not Christian. There are uh, Christian uh, universities and colleges that offer aviation programs, but those tend to be much smaller schools without the full range of experiences that you can have um, at Baylor University. So I, I think that puts us in somewhat of a, a unique position. Uh, we also leverage faculty who work uh, actively in the aviation industry to teach some of our classes and, it, and they're able to bring that industry expertise into the classroom. Just a couple of real quick examples of that. Um, we have the director of the Waco Regional Airport that comes and teaches our aviation management and airport management classes. Um, who better to teach uh, airport management than uh, a guy that, that runs an airport? We also have an active uh, aircraft accident uh, investigator who works for the National Transportation Safety Board. Um, he teaches our aircraft accident investigation and prevention course. So he is able to bring in actual um, accidents that he is investigating or has investigated and bring that um, into the classroom where, where our students can have some hands-on investigative experiences. We also have Central Texas only master flight instructor as one of our faculty. We have uh, owners of flight schools uh, in the area that help teach our courses. So again, we're bringing real world industry experience into the classroom to benefit our students. Baylor is very much committed to the residential college experience. Um, that's one of the reasons why we require freshmen to live on campus their first year. We want um, our students to be a part of a campus community and feel a part of that community, not only the Baylor community in general, but also trying to, we really work to foster a sense of community within our aviation uh, students as well. Um, we have one of the lowest um, instructor to student ratios in collegiate aviation. You will probably not find another school that has a ratio this low of four instructors, uh, four students to one instructor. Um, that allows our students to fly as often as they need to. There is no shortage of availability of uh, instructors and airplanes. So our students can fly in off as often as they want. Um, our students are um, guaranteed at least four flight training events a week. Some of our students are flying five, sometimes six times a week if they choose to do so. Um, that is something that you will not see in many other programs. Um, in many other places, uh, incoming students are, um, are having to sit out a semester of flying because there just aren't enough instructors to handle the student load. We make sure that doesn't happen. We have a brand new modern standardized fleet of air aircraft. As you saw earlier, it's an all Technum fleet um, of aircraft, including uh, customized Technum specific simulators. So it is a true end to end standardized system, which again is something that you don't very often see um, in the world of collegiate aviation. We are certified by the FAA to certify our graduates for a 500 hour reduction for uh, obtaining the restricted air transport pilot license. Um, essentially, the FAA says that you, uh, a pilot has to have 1,500 flying hours before they can uh, go to the airlines. But with a Baylor degree, you get a 500 hour reduction, so you only need 1,000 hours, uh, 1,000 total flying hours. Um, or you can go to the airline. So with the Baylor degree, you get to the airlines faster. We also feel like um, with about 80 students in the program uh, that we are large enough to be a healthy program, but small enough to where um, us, uh, me and our faculty, uh, we get to know our students um, individually. We meet with every student every semester um, to talk about how uh, they're progressing in their courses, what their course schedule uh, needs to be for the ne next semester, monitoring the progress of their flight training and to make sure everything is on track. 
Uh, just to give you an idea of how we rank compared to other aviation programs, uh, U.S. News and World Report, they rank order um, colleges and universities nationwide. And Baylor's number 79 on, the, on that list. But when you look at uh, just colleges and universities that offer aviation programs, we are number three um, on that list. Um, and they're ranking at best value schools. Baylor's number 75. We are number two in collegiate aviation. Um, on their list of uh, ranking of best undergraduate teaching, Baylor's number 20. Uh, we're number one in collegiate aviation. And in first year experiences, Baylor's number eight. And again, we are number one in collegiate aviation on that list. On uh, Kiplinger's best values of private colleges, we are number three in colleg collegiate aviation on that list as well. So that's a brief uh, overview of our program. Uh, our website is listed here where you can go get more information. You can see de detailed uh, curriculum uh, and lots more information about the program. If you have any questions, you can certainly email or call us. Um, our email address and phone number is listed on the screen. Uh, I thank you for your interest and I wish you all blue skies and fair winds.